Hi everyone, welcome to another vlog. Uh, today we're going to be talking about Robocop. What I've been up to. Uh, D, let's have a look. Right, here we've got here. We've got the Robocop helmet. What I've been working on. Uh, putting all the details. These actually here are actually off the original Robocop helmet itself. I actually have the suit itself. Uh, like I said, I'm a big massive Robocop fan. Uh, been all my life. Over the old 30 years. Uh, so I've been doing this helmet up, doing all the back of it, doing all the lines, all make sure they're absolutely, you know, proper bang on, and doing some more details to it and stuff like that. Um, what we got here, there's the back of the helmet. This has took me a while to do, as you can see, all the details, all the vents in the back are all there, how it should be. Just got a little bit more sanding to do on this, and people are going to say. How come it comes round like this? Well, when it's on the back of the helmet, when it's like this, the, the chin guard, the, the chin guard, what comes up the side of his face, comes over here, down, down this side a little bit, like. Um, and that's where that bit goes. Now, I've seen a lot of them where they've just been, they've, they've just scraped it's on a diagonal cut going straight down. Uh, now nah, that's not how it is. This is how it is. That's the that's the proper one. That piece there, what's inserted into there, that's the original piece from the actual helmet. Uh, like I say, I'm a huge Robocop fan. I do have screen used Robocop. Um, so basically what I do is I restore my Robocop. I record, you know, restore the Robocop suit, I get it back to its natural beauty again. You know, because these suits are 30 year old, you know, they've had a lot of batter, they've been out in the weather, you know, daylight and them, and the suits do deteriorate over time. Um, and stuff like that, really. But yeah, this is, this is what I've been doing with this. I'll show you another one as well, what I was working on before. I've got loads of, uh, Oh, I don't mind the 3D printer going. I'm always up to something 3D print. I'll tell you what, I must get my bloody hair cut. You know, that Sonic the Hedgehog. This here, minus the fingers, this is the original Robocop hand. Um, I casted my, my hands on my suit, um, did all the details, corrected them all, made them all nice and, nice and new again. Uh, the reason why the fingers are off is because I'm doing the Robocop data spike um, I've always wanted it because it just looks so cool when that big spike comes shooting out and this is me making it here this is all hollow all hollow inside this is crafted with uh, polyorphine resin um, for making the inserts that's the insert so obviously the, the shaft's going to go inside there and all the spikes going to go what I have planned for this, it's this one I'm on and off in. You know, when I've got a spare 10 minutes or I've got a spare day or a couple of hours, I jump on this and I get bits done on it. You know, I'm not rushing it, I'm not making it for anybody, I'm making it for myself. Uh, but what I have planned for this is, it's um, I, I want to do it so it's motorised. So you press a little button and all the fingers come back, the spike comes up. This is what I have planned for this. So it'll be, it'll be a really nice display piece you know what I sit on the side uh, it's just a this was just another part I've got to the Robocop collection and then we have the big one you know I built the files for this when we mate did Jason in America thank you very much sir me and him are good friends is the Robocop free machine gun arm I've got the part down there to that bit just dropped off because I've got a cast this yet so I can get my hand in and all that lot what I have planned for this is this is this is 98% movie accurate I know what parts now to put onto this to make it a hundred percent movie accurate this is fan made uh, this is 3d printed this is all 3d printed it's gone arm I can actually show you it properly now the details, I mean the details on this thing are absolutely awesome. You know, it's amazing what you can do with one of those machines. So what I have planned, it's just missing a couple of bits on there, but they're down there. 
what I have planned for this, uh, I'm going to cast it. Um, I mean, look at that. Even the, the side clip comes off and slaps on. This is my mate Jason again, he designed it all. This is all done by reference photographs and that. So what we did was, what, well, sorry, what I've got planned for this is I'm going to mould it and I'm going to cast it. Um, I'm going to make it, obviously I'm going to make this part hollow, slide the arm in. And I'm also going to put a working rocket launcher, not a real one by the way, <laughs> don't get carried away. <laughs> I'm going to put a real rocket launcher inside so you'll be able to trigger it on the inside and this will fire out. On the top here is the, uh, the, the, the machine gun. Uh, I, I wouldn't mind putting a replica um, dummy. A dummy gun so it fires blanks you know so it just bop 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 just you know i mean looks the part and then this part here this is where the frame flower went Um you know put a proper tube in actually get it proper working to be a flame flower i mean how cool would that be to turn this piece of plastic into a fully working replica just like the real one from the movie. But when I first designed, when I first designed this and I was looking, this thing here is like a ghost. No information, no nothing. It, there's nothing out there. I mean, once we finished the build, it had to happen. Some photos appeared online and it showed the date. And I was, ah, I was like, no, you know. But hey, we did well. Uh, yeah, like I said, this is the. This is the sort of builds I do, with me, me 3D prints and stuff like that. Um, I've been up to all sorts, absolutely all sorts, with me 3D builds, with me Robocop and that. It's my passion, I love it. Uh, like I said, I've been working on, I've got Robocop helmets, I've got them all over the place. Like you say, you see them in the background on my thingies, you know, Robocop helmet here. This is not mine, this, this one was made by a uh, lad called Atlantis, but I just bought it because I like my Robocop. But the only thing I did was I I did the mouthpiece for because obviously this just comes in an helmet, it doesn't come with the mouthpiece. So I made I made the mouth uh, and said it into the helmet. I've still got to paint it yet, but I might just leave it as it is. But yeah, that's where I am with the Robocop. Um, absolutely living the dream of it all, you know. I'll share my builds with you all. Like I say, you're gonna see loads on this channel now, you're gonna see me working on the Robocop suit. Um, me moulding the suits, pulling casts, uh, doing 3D prints, but there'll be no 3D prints when I'm Robocop. That's all handmade on the suit. Because uh, that's, that's the real stuff. Uh, like I said, things like this. This is my passion. This is what I like doing. Yeah, it's all good fun. All good fun. Right, I'll see you on the next time of uh, Robocop Batman 3D printing or whatever. Stay real. See you all soon. Thanks for subscribing. Ta-da.